welcome to my channel this is shell Docs channel now in this video we'll be looking at how your ear filter can cause engine vibration so the other day i was doing a video and i haven't opened this in a while and when i looked at it i saw that it really needs changing now these things uh in terms of maintenance it's best you change them um, what really can you maintain on your ear filter so it's best if you change it if it needs changing and at this time mine needs changing but going to this um, problem where how is it that your ear filter can cause engine vibration now your ear filter should have enough ear flow through it so if it does not have enough ear flow it is going to starve the engine of that ear that it is requiring in order to operate properly and especially at low speed what will happen is that enough air will not flow into the engine because the air filter is restricting that flow and because enough air is not flowing what you find out is that at lower speed especially during idle the engine as it were will be starved of some amount of air and when it is starved of, of that air what will happen is that it will mess up the air fuel ratio that should be entering the engine for it to throttle properly and when that air fuel mixture is not in line the engine will start to reduce its rpm even at idle and when the engine reduces its rpm at idle you know once it passes below 600 rpm you will start to feel some form of vibration and it becomes even more severe as the rpm becomes lower however what with the engine will do or based on what manufacturer program the computer to do if they notice or if the program notice that the rpm is falling below certain levels to maintain that turning operation of the engine the computer will automatically add fuel to the engine in order for the engine to keep running so that is why when you're idling and you find the engine vibrating rapidly and then it comes to a smooth operation and then it goes back into vibrating rapidly it is because the computer is detecting that the engine idle speed is too low so it adds fuel to the engine therefore increasing the engine speed but as the engine speed increases the computer will normally try to reduce back the speed to the idle speed which is between 650 to 700 rpm and when it does that by adding the fuel the computer again will leave the regular system to maintain the idle speed but because the 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 this filter is not allowing enough air to pass through it what will happen again is that the engine will be starved of the amount of air it requires to the number of part of fuel so you will constantly have that falling rpm and then the engine picks it up back the computer picks it up back and then you have again that falling rpm so you have this constant change of between um vibration picking up back vibration picking up back so sometimes you need to change your ear filter to avoid this and this is how your ear filter can cause engine vibration hopefully this can be of assistance to you thank you for watching please subscribe and have yourself a nice time